Hi everybody, I'm Omid and I'm here with another amazing challenge in Power Query. This is challenge number three and provided in my LinkedIn page, you can see a wide range of solution for this challenge provided with different people. You can see the Navid solution, Julian, Gupta, Mohammed, and Ramiro and others people. There are wide range of solution provided in Excel, Power Query, Python and different tools. But today I'm going to solve this problem in Power Query in an easy way. This challenge is about combination of items. We have different IDs with different value cards. We are going to provide all combination of these IDs together and the total cards in another column. So let's consider this table and convert it to the table in Excel by pressing Ctrl T. Then load it into the Power Query. Before solving the whole problem, let's try to provide the combination of all IDs from 1 to 5. I do not need this step and I'm going to add new step. To calculate the combination of IDs, list.accumulate can be used. List accumulate on the this list one to five and let's consider it as a something like this as a blank value uh, inside the list and define the accumulator function by a and b like and let's put b first yeah so it's going to provide this value as a five you know it's it's not our function but we are going to develop it we can add it A and B. It's going to provide blank at the first and one to five, then combine to it. Instead of using these, I'm going to use list.transform over A and define transformation function as a, a underscore and B. Yeah. But B is this item is in type number so we need to convert it to the text so write text dot from b and see the results yeah it's going to combine all these value together i need to add in each step in each loop of list dot accumulate i need to add the last value to the previous list so i'm going to add this a into this list that transform it provides this result uh, include all the combination that i needed so let, let's consider a smaller example like one to three and see the result at the beginning a is this we can replace it by something like x and see a is a list included just one item just x so list transform is going to apply on this and then add it to the previous one, add it to the X. So list transform on a list with one item, namely X, uh, is applied and it's applied it's combined by B. In the first iteration, B is one. So the previous value of A, which was this list, is combined by X the X1 and our result list would be into uh, two items in the next step b become two and a is these two value these two sub lists these two items so list that transform is going to apply on these two items and the result would be combined by these two items so let's check the result list that transform is going to apply on these two items and b is two so it's going to combine by b which result is this value and this one is also going to combine by b which result is two value so result of list that transform for the next iteration would be these two value in the third iteration a is these four value the first four items and b is three so B is going to add in the all these items. B is going to add to these, 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 and these, which provide these four items. And then combine by A and provide this result. So 
we can remove these x and make it blank and also provide these as a 5 yeah this is the type of combination see 1 5 2 5 uh, we, we can add also something as a separator here yeah 1 2 1 2 3 and this combination we are going to remove the first comma later but at this step we need to calculate the sum of cost also see in the result table we have this column now but we need also this column so at this stage i'm going to come change the format of seats x equal to these and y equal to a list including zero and uh, the format of seats should be exactly the same as the format of these accumulators so x equal to ax the field x on a and also here the field x on a and then after transform function we have to define y equal to uh, exactly zero so we are going to change it later and see the result so this is the value of x and this is the value of y which always be a uh, zero we can add it as a column y and this zero so y now this value so instead of this value i'm going to use list dot transform here also at this stage i'm going to apply it on the a y and in each iteration i'm going to add underline by something some value should be added which is value of the b b came from here so i'm going to refer let's write one first see say zero one one two one two two it's going to provide the num number of item in the this sub list but uh, instead of one i'm going to use this column name let's copy and paste it yeah we are going to add table source column this column because of the uh, format of name and b minus one yeah so at this time we have the value of the first column in the result table almost we have the values and in this one we have the result of this column so at the next step i'm going to convert this record into the list so record dot to list and close parentheses yeah each each sub list is a column of table so let's use table dot from columns and see the result yeah this is the result of combination we do not need first row so let's use table dot skip and write one in the next argument and we just also need to remove the first item so let's use this column go to the transform format and let's select something like lens here yeah it's going to transform this column by text.lens but i'm going to remove this one and write each text.remove range and write zero and underscore zero and one So this is the result table including all IDs combination and the total cost. We can change the name of columns and use it on our problem.